Well, if you're in the market for a home, there are new rules tonight you need to know about. Down payments for some homes, depending on the price, are going up. The higher threshold means some buyers will have to save more before they can buy. Robin Gill explains the rules and the impact. In Vancouver, condos are just part of the natural landscape. The average price of an apartment in the sky is $443,000 perfect for first-time home buyers because they just need a minimum 5% down payment to get into the market. In the last few months, mortgage brokers have seen a rush of customers. Most people then took the plunge to get pre-approved. They wanted to make sure that they were in there and were beginning to get serious about finding a home. They got serious early because more restrictive mortgage rules come into play today. Consider a home that is selling for $600,000. The minimum down payment used to be 5% or $30,000. Under the new rules, the down payment is now 5% on the first $500,000 and 10% on the rest. For a total of $35,000, up $5,000 more than before. It's going to penalize mostly Toronto buyers and Vancouver buyers. They're the only ones who are in that marketplace over half a million dollars. The federal government implemented the new rules to cool those scorching real estate markets. Governments, plural, I would think would be probably better addressing the supply side. Uh, markets like Toronto, Vancouver need more supply. Uh, and to help uh, address this imbalance between uh, demand and supply. The low loonies still makes Canada cheap for investors, driving up prices. The Toronto market is still really, really boisterous. In Canada's largest city, realtors say first-time homeowners are just a fraction of those looking to buy. I don't think it's going to slow things down, but on the other hand, we don't want to see first-time buyers getting into trouble. Despite having restrictions, the new rules are meant to protect those who are just starting to build their nest. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.